Hi everyone, this is Trish from Team Monty at Remax Preferred Realty and welcome to another episode of This Is Our Town. Today I am in Fort City on Drulard Road with Michael DeFazio of Reclaimed Artistry and we wanted to bring this to you because we think this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> um, he does great woodworking and we're standing in front of some barn doors uh, that he's created and I just wanted to ask you a little bit about how you got started. Um, I've been doing this for a long time now, I think I'm on my uh, seventh year, but I've always tinkered with stuff. Um, I got started by just driving up and down alleys and finding old windows and alleys and making those, turning those windows into chalkboards and some mirror frames and stuff. That eventually led to me picking up doors, turning those into tables, and then now we just build pretty much anything that anyone needs, so out of reclaimed materials. That is awesome. If somebody wanted something for their home, how do they... Do they bring their idea to you? Do you give them ideas? How does that work? Uh, typically how it works is they have a need for something. They say they have a need for a dining room table or an island top or whatever it is. Um, once I know kind of what my clients need, I can base the design around um, what their needs are. So if, if they want something that's not so rustic, I have, I have a material for that. If they want something more on the rustic side, I have a material for that. If they want a cooler story, then like there's, there's different stories to pick when you come here. So you can pick a bowling lane top, you can pick floor joist tops, barn beam tops, whatever okay. story you want. We just don't build furniture out of just wood. We build the furniture out of old things. So it's, it's a different type of experience. But yeah, if, if once my client knows what they want, I can design it around there. And then I usually ask for reference photos and dimensions and build from there. Tell me a little bit about how you got started. Like, do you have formal training? Is this all just... So I finished uh, the woodworking program at St. Clair College, uh, but yeah, they showed me a lot of the basic stuff. There's a lot of basic knowledge from that program, uh, basic tool knowledge and stuff like that. But realistically, a lot of the stuff that is that we do here is all self-taught. Um, a lot of learning and a lot of uh, trial and error stuff. Like when it comes to ripping apart a bowling lane, there's there's no one taught me that at school, or even building tabletops. No one built, uh, taught me that stuff at school. So a lot of the stuff we do here is self-taught. That is amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what people come here for. What's the most popular thing, or how do you decide what the new trend is, or give me something about that. So I don't, I wouldn't say that we actually follow the trends because some of the trends that are out right now are not something that you that typically kind of get me going. It's we kind of I like I like a very certain thing, and I think a lot of our our inspiration for our work and stuff is more based on like an urban like gritty part instead of your nice fancy this and that I'd rather go a little bit gritty and keep all the the crazy imperfections and the parts that people would normally get rid of that's what we try to enhance instead of making it pretty and perfect we yeah. enhance the imperfections so that's what makes our pieces extra unique and what's the most popular item uh, we're doing a lot of barn doors right now uh, we do a lot of cabinets as well we and dining room tables and stuff like that but we pretty much build anything that anyone ever needs. We like to say that if you can dream it, we can build it, so. Oh, I love it, that's <laughs> awesome. Okay, now tell me how, a little bit about how you got settled here on Rulard Road in Fort City. So I grew up in this neighborhood. Um, I've always had a fascination with this neighborhood as well, because it being such a rough area back in the day, I wasn't really allowed to come down here. I wasn't supposed to be down here, but um, I always had this fascination, so I was always up and down just looking at the buildings, because I love architecture and stuff, so. Yeah, so that's how I came here, and then as soon as I moved here, I noticed this insane uh, sense of community here. Everyone knows each other here. Everyone asks how. Everyone wants to know how you're doing. And it's a really tight community, and I think it's like one of the most unique communities I've ever lived in. So that's amazing. It's and we're cool, yeah. seeing great things happen down in this area too. There's lots of new businesses and things starting up. Um, yep. Tell me a little bit about what you did for Halloween for the community. So we went around in the box truck and uh, we gave out candy with the, with the free candy truck. Kind of did a little play on how creepy the truck is all the time, but yeah, we, we drove around to other neighborhoods. We gave out some discount cards and some candy to the kids. I uh, filmed the whole YouTube video about it, so that'll be out soon. <laughs> awesome. Sounds great. Okay, and I've noticed the mascot. Yeah. So tell me about him. So Mac is a Dalmatian. He's still a puppy, so he's completely wild. but. Uh, He's growing very fast and he seems to get a lot of attention, so it's, it's nice, but he's, he's actually a great dog, so. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate the time you took to uh, talk with us today. No and problem. if anybody wants any more information about Reclaimed Artistry, um, you can go to our website and we'll have all the information there. And be sure to check out his stuff and his shop because it, it really is cool. 